Netflix is an online video streaming service that allows you to watch many movies and TV shows wherever, whenever. Netflix has a history of making their own cartoon, and in September 2018, we got a Netflix original animated movie called Next Gen. Since the movie is still pretty new-ish, I think this would be a good movie that I should review. This is my first movie review on YouTube, and I have to let you know that there will be spoilers. Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and this is my review on a Netflix animated movie, Next Gen. The movie starts out with a girl named May. She had wonderful parents until her father left the family. Many years went by, and pretty much everything in her city is associated with technology and robots. May hated that because she felt like her mother loved robots more than her human child. And May is voiced by Charlene Yi, who is also the voice actress for three Cartoon Network characters from three Cartoon Network shows you may recognize. They are Ruby from Steven Universe, Chloe from We Were Bears, and Alice from Summer Camp Island. May and her mother go to a launch event to see the Gen 6 Cubots. May is so uninterested with the launch of the Gen 6 Cubots that she decided to go wherever she wanted to go. And at some point, she found 7723, or Project 77, voiced by John Krasinski. Unfortunately, May gets caught by the security and doesn't have her backpack now. When Dr. Rice finds out his creation, 7723 is gone, he panics. The Cubots and Rice are voiced by David Cross, which you may know him as Crane from the Kung Fu Panda franchise. After a huge chase scene, 7723 finds May and gives her backpack back to her. We are also introduced to Momo, May's dog, and he is voiced by Michael Pina, who is the voice of Tito in Turbo, Kai in the Lego Ninjago movie, Rubber in the 2017 My Little Pony movie, and he portrays Lewis in the Ant-Man movies. And let me tell you, he is so funny that after you watch this movie, you're going to wonder what your dog might be saying in English. When the two are seen together again, May is still mad at the robot, but when he shoots the electronic toothbrush, May is impressed. Together, they destroyed robots and take revenge on bullies. But it is revealed that 7723 doesn't have enough storage for all of his memories, and he has to delete some every once in a while. It's kind of a downer for a robot to only have room for a limited amount of memories. On the other side of the story, Dr. Rice is threatened by Justin Penn, voiced by Jason Sudeikis, and the bad guy in this movie. It is revealed that the Gen 6 Cubots are weapons of destruction. One day, 7723 asks to play baseball because he wants a day with May that doesn't involve blasting. But May still wanted revenge on Greenwood, the bully, voiced by Kiana Leed. And May goes too far when she wants 7723 to blast Greenwood, and that would be breaking the laws of robotics. Later, since 7723 didn't know which memories to delete, he decided to delete his weapon system. When Dr. Rice is at May's house, Rice tries to fix 7723, but is interrupted by Justin and he kidnaps May's mother. May finds out that 7723 deleted his weapon system and is furious. May finds her mother and Justin opened his big mouth and everyone finds out that he is going to rid all the humans. And we all know that Justin isn't a mad man, he's a mad cyborg. A huge fight between 7723 and Justin occurs. And in order for 7723 to get his weapons, he has to restart himself which means he had to delete all of his memories. When Justin is defeated, 7723 reactivates and has no memory of May. But after a while, 7723 is seen hanging out with May, and they create new memories and they vow to look out for each other. The movie overall was pretty good to watch. The story has its sad moments like having to delete memories and losing a friend or family member, and it had some thrilling chases and battles. The voice acting is phenomenal. Since Netflix did a good job with this movie, I give this movie three and a half stars out of five. I liked it, and I highly recommend that you see it. It may not be as great as other animated robot movies like Iron Giant, Wall-E, or Big Hero 6, but I think you should watch it at least once. Do you agree with me? 
What did you think of the Netflix animated movie, Next Gen? Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, see you next time, and good night-o!